Americans are filled with dread as store shelves are empty as the president's head. <laughs> and their solution for this mess is you expecting less. Yeah, the economy is heading for ruin, but be happy we're becoming the Soviet Union. So here's some major concerns that any average American might have this week. You got a supply chain crisis crushing businesses and consumers, secret late night flights to New York carrying underage migrants. By the way, the last time Democrats booked flights like that, it was with Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> oh, how dare you? And a trillion dollar spending bill that will drag down the entire country. Seems like a good time for the White House to provide some clarity, right, Jen? It was crystal clear that things were not improving on supply chain. People couldn't get dishwashers and, and furniture and treadmills delivered on time, not to mention all sorts of other things. So why the is it... The tragedy of the, short, the treadmill that's delayed. Right. The why is the administration flying thousands of migrants from the border to Florida and New York in the middle of the night? Uh, well, I'm not sure that it's in the middle of the night. It is our... 4.29 a.m. Well, he, Very here, early in the morning. Here we are talking on. about early flights. Earlier than you might like to take a flight. The Details president still believes that uh, Build Back Better will not add a dime to the national debt. Correct, it won't. Why, would he, why, why should Americans believe that? Because it won't. <laughs> I got to hand it to her. She really looks on the bright side of things. Her glass is half full, which is better than our grocery shelves. I wonder if she's like that all the time. <laughs> like I just stole my bag! Well, that's great. Uh, now you won't have to uh, carry it, and your posture will probably uh, improve. Put a White House press secretary, Jen Psaki, that bag had my wallet in it! Well, it's, now it's been redistributed to that underprivileged um, criminal. Uh, kind of selfish of you to uh, keep those snacks. They're all I could afford. I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wish I had that positive outlook, but it's no wonder Team Biden is okay with this. When you're in cognitive decline, you don't remember the better times. Of course, the media is totally behind Biden's strategy. A WAPO, that's short for Washington Post, which kind of <laughs> makes the whole WAPO redundant when I say it's the Washington Post twice. An op-ed argues that you shouldn't complain about lack of services or labor shortages. Instead, just lower your expectations, oh. you dolts. Look, you don't have to wait in line for bread if you don't want to. You can just starve or embrace the wait. And besides, raising expectations means the government actually has to do work. Instead, let's lower them. We even made you a handy video to help more Americans get on board. <laughs> Hey there, kiddos. Have you heard about the so-called national supply chain crisis? Well, there's a lot of misinformation going around, but the truth is, with the shortage of goods, there's never been a better time to lower your life's expectations. Sure, there might be bread lines, but hey, what a great way to meet your neighbors. No toilet paper on the shelves? No problem. Remember, you're also eating much less. Rising gas prices? That means less money for your crippling pill addiction. Isn't it time you got clean anyway? And less driving is a great way to get your steps in for the day, comrade. You see, kids, the sooner you learn to love Sovietization, the sooner you'll come to the realization that the American dream was a nightmare. And remember, you've had it too easy for too long. Too easy, too long. Charlie. It's kind of interesting. It doesn't seem that Saki, is that her name? Saki? Yeah. Hasn't even, isn't even trying anymore. It's as though she, the, 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 the media has lowered their expectations for her, and she's yeah. meeting them. Well, yeah, and, and in a lot of ways, she's like, she's like the perfect press secretary for this administration. Yeah. Completely out of her depth, completely has no idea what she's talking about on a, on a regular basis. And then, uh, but the worst, of course, is when she comes up with the, with the funny quips and she tries to do the stand-up yeah. comedy. Uh, it's insulting, it's uh, ridiculous, and, and obviously it's not funny. Um, and, and one of those clips, uh, I can't remember if, if you showed it right there, where she, she's talking about the supply chain and she says, you know, we're not the post office. Right. right. And it's like, well, actually, uh, you are. You are. <laughs> but, and, it, and it's terrible. Yeah. But, um, but it's also, you know, and, and it's also a reminder of, uh, talking about silver linings, um, you know, there, there was a great silver lining, uh, you know, in, in being in a 40-year nuclear standoff with the Soviet Union, 
we were reminded of what socialism really was like. Yeah, we had to, we had to read up on it. Yeah, and people talked about it. Yeah. And, the, and people that would escape would tell you stories about bread lines. And I guess we're just going to have to, like, you know, whatever, 40, 30 years later, we're just going to have to discover it on our own. It'll be a fun time. It'll, think yeah. of it as It'll an adventure, Charlie. Yeah. That's what I do with everything bad. Joe, if you marry Jen Psaki, her <laughs> name would be Joe Saki Maki. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I'm getting applause from Laura Logan over that terrible joke. Don't you have a question, Greg? That my question is, why haven't you married Jen Psaki? I believe she's taken and I'm an honorable man. <laughs> uh, you seem to live a life of lowered expectations. You know? <laughs> so what is your, what, what's your feeling? I on... like lowered expectations, Greg. That's why that treadmill quip landed for me, because... <laughs> If there's no treadmills, then I've got the perfect excuse for why I don't have to use a treadmill. <laughs> I just think, you know, uh, people aren't stupid when you're trying to put lipstick on a pig, uh, except right now, there's not much lipstick or pig. <laughs> and and the, the other thing that I found really insulting was people saying that, oh, uh, Jen Saki saying that, oh, this is a sign that the economy's picking up, that the goods are in short supply. It's like, no, I wasn't waiting to buy Food. <laughs> I'm always looking to buy food. I'm yeah. always happy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good point. Damn it! I wish I came up with that cat. Your entire dating life was uh, had the was focused on low expectations. Yeah. But then it changed. I, I have been married now for almost six months. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's a half a year. <laughs> I know. Sorry, anybody who might have lost money. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just reading that article is absurd. You can't say that ever. Yeah. Like, imagine if a therapist said that. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, has it ever occurred to you that you should just accept swinging between debilitating anxiety and crushing depression? <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, you'd have to only go to one session. But other than that, <laughs> yes. that's not effective. No, it's not. And nobody, and you try to push, you know, Jen Psaki, you push her on these things, and she goes, because yeah. like, I couldn't do that. Yeah. I couldn't, you know, you couldn't do that. Say something, someone push on you. Well, why? Well, cuz. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we wouldn't still have jobs, but yet she does. Yeah, that's true. You know, Laura, you like low expectations are what you expect when you leave America. You've been all over the world. Like, so you've seen some pretty bad stuff. Are we overstating this? No, not at all. In fact, what's happening here is that I think Jen Psaki is just, she's just run out of energy. Mm -hmm. There's so many crises all over the place. It's all coming apart. The tactics are failing. Yeah. You know, they've done the whole tactic of, we're going to, I mean, they're running out of labels, right? Yeah. It's either the QAnon or it's the white supremacist right. or it's the anti-vax terrorist. Yeah. I mean, it's something like that. And uh, it's just not working anymore. Mm -hmm. Americans, uh, people are smart and they see through it. And they know when they go uh, to Walmart, sorry, I live in a town of 11,000 people, we, we're lucky to have one Walmart. Mm -hmm. And they know when they can't get the things that they need. And they know the fact that it's all made in China is a problem. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're not stupid and they're not falling for the whole treadmill thing. Yeah. You know? And also, you know what it is? It's consistent with a much more significant strategy. If you never acknowledge that it's a crisis, you never actually have to do anything about it. Exactly. Look at them. The border is not a crisis, right? Exactly. They, and so they don't have to do anything about it. The Afghanistan, that wasn't a crisis. That was a historic movement yeah. of people. <laughs> right. So we don't have to do anything about the fact that we torched an entire nation. Right. And we're isolated on the world stage at the exact moment that China's launching its supersonic, yeah. right, round the world missile, right? Yeah. And so on. And this just keeps going because the supply chain crisis is exposing the fact that we don't make anything anymore. Yeah. And we don't make enough to feed America. But don't worry. They're going to kill all the animals, and they're going to give you food made in a, in a, a factory, right? Yeah. That you don't know what's in it, but Bill Gates has got you. He's yeah. got your back. That's I'm, I'm all for the factory uh, animal thing, though, because uh, it just sounds tasty. <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? I'm joking. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.